I just, I just can't believe it. That raccoon has stolen all of my knives and forks except these ones. <sighs> what if I have company? Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So today I need to go and pick up a bucket. Um, I'm sure I bought something at the store to pick up. I've totally forgotten what it was. Still, in other news, I was talking about this um this ten thousand litre uh thing here, and I do want to get that as well. So that's two thousand five hundred pounds. We have three thousand three hundred, so I'm going to take my old liquid tank back and get a couple of hundred quid for that, and then we are going to pick up a bucket and this. I hope I'll be able to afford a bucket. I think I bought one. 1,600. I'm sure I bought one. Oh, let's find out. No. Ah, I bought the fork with a grapple, didn't I? So good. That's already purchased, so I don't have to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the, fork, the weight off the back of the Massey Ferguson and we're going to take the forks off the Massey Ferguson. And we're going to head up to the store. So I've been thinking, now that the, um, the, uh, the cow shed that we've got does not work. Uh, doesn't give newer. The question is though, does it give slurry? Because I can put in a slurry tank and start collecting slurry. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, I think slurry is pretty universally produced. I'm not, but I'm not certain. So, uh, might have a look into that before I jump the gun because the last thing I want to do is to buy a slurry pit and then not be able to produce the slurry to go into it. So, we'll see. Right, I'm going to head up to the store and I will see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Uh, I can't imagine we'll get much for it. Oh, that's more than I expected. We repaint it. Yeah. That is more than I expected. That's really good. So, we can now buy... Check, there's nothing in the sale. We've already done that. There's nothing in the sale. We can now buy this. Now, what colour? That's the thing. Do I want it to match? I mean, Massey Ferguson? Or do I want it to match a John Deere? Or do I want it to be completely different? It's going to be used for both milk and water. Let's make it blue. Why not? There we go. Right, got it. My controls were not set up correctly. But now they are. See, I've just got to... Uh, Oh. Huh. Now I can't go forwards. <laughs> this is hilarious. I've just got a uh, a Logitech shifter. And it's very difficult to figure out How to set it up. So that's select backwards direction. So I've selected the backwards direction and I'm not selecting forwards direction again. So 
It would be handy if this was just a reverse. Can't I just put it in reverse? No. So maybe we'll have that as a... Oh, God. Change direction. Okay. There we go. That's better. Alright, maybe um, automatic gears are still good for most games. Or for most tractors, I should say. But uh, I, I actually bought it for survival roleplay. That Ford changes gear far too much when you just put your foot on the throttle and it just sits there going through the gears. And what I want to do is select a gear and go. So. And survival role play, this will help out massively on this game, not so much. Right, I will see you back at the farm. We've just topped the waters up anyway. Um, we'll check on how the silage is fermenting. And then I think we'll get planting some seed, hopefully. Right, filled that up, that can stay there for now. If we are going to be doing anything with the silage, then I'm going to need the grapple on the front anyway, so I might as well leave it on there. Pick that up. And switch that off. Because don't need that on just yet. So... How are we getting on with eggs? Oh, chickens are producing eggs, lovely. 21 eggs so far and 64 kilos. Not eating that fast either, so that's brilliant news. So, how is the silage getting on? Eighty percent fermented, so it's doing okay. It'll probably be ready later today, which means we can get a load sold. Um. Hmm. Yes, that would be a cracking idea. Grass is growing nicely, uh, but we do need to spray it. We do need to get some fertilizer on it. We also need to get. If we're doing barley or wheat, we need to get that in the ground. <clears throat> now, I haven't decided yet what we're going to do. Um, hmm. Maybe we should get some wheat into the smaller field. I'm not going to do it in the big field, because in the big field, I want to do another combinable crop. So, potentially oats, which won't be till March. But I think we should get wheat into the smaller field, and we should get the grass sprayed with fertilizer. So, I need the John Deere. Here it is. And we've got seed in it. Switch it to wheat. Now this is a direct drill, I believe. So I should be able to just lower it down and have it plant yes I can superb <laughs> I'm 
Look at that. Absolutely amazing. And then, all I'll need to do is to spray this as well as the grass field. We will have to tackle the weeds another time, but um, well, that's okay. This doesn't take very long at all to plant, which is brilliant. And we're going to get into the period where there's not going to be an awful lot to do in the months. So, um, yeah, it's going to be probably a bit of skipping through months, I think. Making sure the animals are kept fed, selling all their uh, all the produce once it comes to um, once it comes to uh, July, uh, sorry, January, not July. Forgotten me months there for a second. So yeah, needs to um, needs to get to December or January before the uh, Things are at their highest value. We've got plenty of barley to sell. We're going to sell at least a whole trailer load of barley. And we can sell the eggs and the wool. Yeah, all of that will be sold. What's going on here? Oh, I've picked up a mower. <sighs> uh, I wonder what was going on there. Oh dear. Um... Yes, I wonder why it was lifting the wheels off the ground. Right, let's get this out of the way. Actually, where can I put it that will annoy Derek? Hmm. Well, given that he built a massive stack of hay bales on his own, it's probably nowhere that he can't reach. Unless he's some sort of magic raccoon. Hmm. Maybe I'll put this in the lake. What do we think about that? I think the lake might be a good place. There we go. Disrupting my farming. That'll teach him. Right then. Uh, What are we doing? Let's go back and... No, let's just... Let's not do that. Okay. Let's get on with getting the wheat in the ground. Much easier without a mower under the front wheels. Blooming raccoon.
Hey, I've just, just thought, you know what, might be a good buy. Might be a good buy if I get myself a greenhouse. That'll help up the product intake a bit, won't it? What do you think about that? Obviously, uh, can't afford it just yet, but maybe when the um, the money for the slurry comes in, I'll be able to get a greenhouse. That'd be good. In the meantime, winter wheat is going in. Just going to get the little bits that I have missed because. I do not. I do not want to affect the yield in any way at all by missing bits. And there we go. But that is that done. And then next, I want to get the, uh, the spraying done. Especially the grass field. We've really, really improved the yield of that, that by planting the grass. So the last thing I want to do is forget to fertilize it. the fertilizer here it is don't know how much of this we've got left to be perfectly honest but well clearly that's a full one 99% but it won't take any more okay we'll do grass first and then we'll come back and do the other little field Right, that's the grass field all done. Does it need rolling? I'm not sure. No. It says no to rolling. However, the small wheat field needs rolling, and this field will need rolling when we finish that which is great news so what we're going to do right now is we're going to spray it with the um, fertilizer then we're going to roll it then we're going to maximize the yield Yeah, this is taking a good load of fertilizer. That's that's really good. Right, this won't take long at all. And then I'm going to use the roller for the first time, which will be good. I'll get this bit in the last pass, but uh, that's okay. 
Then what I'll try and do is um, consolidate all the fertilizer we have left into one pot. One IBC. This doesn't appear to be doing anything down here. I wonder if that's because I'm hanging over into the other field. It isn't my land. No. Okay. That's that done then. Right, so if I add this to this one. Oh. That was literally it. And then unload it here. There you go. It's all into one container. Right, park the sprayer back up over here, and then we'll grab the roller. Now, I believe we've only got to roll the little field. It might work on grass, it might not, I don't know. It might not work on these fields. Why can't I unfold that? Ah, there we go, that's better. There we go. That's rolling nicely. Look at that. Well, they're slightly confused why it's leaving a ridge pattern when we've got flat rollers, but... Oh. I should have waited longer for it to... Uh, fold down there we go. much better I wonder if it will work on the grass field. I suppose it's not really a grass roller, is it? It 
This could give us another 5% yield on this, and it was already a very well yield yielding field. So, yeah, really pleased about that. Oh, uh, yes. The whole wait for it to be folded thing. Don't want to miss any bits. This is our livelihood. One more run down the field. And I reckon that's a pretty good job for today. That should produce a nice, lovely patch of wheat. However, next time, or next time we do it, we'll be aiming to um, to get some lime down as well because that is a big part of it which is not currently accounted for pH levels of the soil are not where they should where they need to be there we go so that's pretty much that for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.